About 2,000 years ago, God had an amazing plan to send a savior to the world, and it would all begin with a young woman in the tiny town of Nazareth. A messenger angel named Gabriel appeared suddenly to Mary, saying, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Naturally, when having an angel appear in front of her, Mary was afraid and worried about why he had appeared. Don't be afraid, Mary. You found favor with God. You will soon give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, which means the Lord saves. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. He will rule over the people of Israel forever, and his kingdom will never end. This baby would one day rule forever. But Jesus had important work to do. First, God was sending his son to save the people from their sin. Mary must have realized with wonder that Jesus was the promised one. For hundreds of years, the Jewish people had been watching and waiting for the Savior to come. And now, God would use Mary to bring him into the world. But Mary didn't understand. How is this possible? She asked. You see, unless she broke God's laws, she couldn't get pregnant because she wasn't married yet. But the angel told her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will put the baby in you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. God was going to do a miracle. Mary was important to God. Did you know that you're important to God too? God loves you. God says in his word, I have loved you with an everlasting love. God created you and he knows everything about you. And I mean everything about you. He knows all the wrong things you have done, when you've lied, disobeyed your parents, said mean things to others, even the sinful thoughts you have thought. And yet he still loves you. How do you know he loves you though? Because he sent his son Jesus to earth to take the punishment for your sin. He gives you the chance to be forgiven for all the wrong things you have done through believing in what Jesus did for you. Even more than that, he wants you to live with him in heaven forever. He loves you. You are important to God. Mary was important to God and he was going to do a miracle in her body. As Mary wondered about this miracle, Gabriel gave her more big news. Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a baby. She's already six months pregnant. Now, Elizabeth and her husband, Zechariah, were old enough to be grandparents and had wanted children for many years but had never been able to have them. Usually, by the time a woman is 50 years old, they can't have children anymore. But God performed a miracle and old Elizabeth became pregnant. The angel said, with God, nothing is impossible. Mary said to Gabriel, I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen like you have said. Mary trusted the angel and was happy and willing to serve God any way she could. Are you happy and willing to serve God in any way you can? What if God wants you to do something that you don't like? Maybe telling your friends about Jesus, honoring your parents, or being a servant to others. Would you still be happy and willing to serve God? Or do you want to pick and choose how you will serve God? If you truly believe Jesus suffered and died for your sins, then you would love him. And if you love him, you will be happy and willing to serve God any way he chooses, just like Mary. When the angel disappeared, Mary quickly packed up her things and left to go stay with Elizabeth in Judea. Elizabeth joyfully greeted Mary, and when she heard Mary's voice, something strange happened. The baby inside of Elizabeth jumped for joy. Then she said, it is a great honor to have the mother of my Lord visit me. And they praised and worshiped God together. Mary stayed until Elizabeth had her baby. Then it was time for her to return home. Joseph was one of the first people Mary would see. Mary and Joseph were engaged to be married, but now things were different. She was pregnant. What would Joseph think about her having a baby? Would he be okay with it? No, of course not. She was engaged to be married to him, but now she was pregnant with someone else's baby. He was surprised and hurt when he learned Mary was going to have a baby. Joseph decided it would be better not to marry her after all. But God wanted both Mary and 
and Joseph to be a part of his plan. One night while Joseph was sleeping, an angel appeared to him in a dream. The angel told Joseph not to be afraid to take Mary as his wife. This baby is from God. He is the Savior, he told him. Just like every Israelite, Joseph knew about God's promise to send a Savior, but surely he never imagined that the Savior would be born to his wife. That meant God wanted Joseph to be the Savior's dad. What an honor that would be. Joseph believed the angel's message and took Mary as his wife. God had a perfect plan for Joseph's life. God has a perfect plan for your life too. If you know the Lord Jesus as your savior and you want to serve him, let him guide you in his plan. But how do you let God guide you? Well, it was easy enough for Joseph. He had an angel appear to him and tell him exactly what to do. And that only happened to Joseph because it was the most important event in the history of ever. So how can you let God guide you? The Bible says in James, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all. Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do. Many of the ways God wants you to serve him are already written in the Bible. If you want to serve your savior well, you need to know the Bible well. And by reading the Bible, you'll get to know him better and learn to love him more. Through knowing him and talking to him, God can guide you through the perfect plan he has for your life. Joseph knew God had a perfect plan for his life. He chose to obey God and took Mary as his wife. God was using Mary and Joseph to bring the promised Savior into the world. They had a wedding and the two began their life together. Every week, Mary's stomach got bigger and bigger as the baby grew, but when the time came close to her due date, the Roman emperor who ruled over all the Israelites ordered that each person throughout the empire be counted and taxed. Everyone had to return to the city where their family line came from, and Joseph's family line came from about five days away. Why now? The trip from Nazareth to Bethlehem, where Joseph's family was from, would be long and difficult, and Mary was about to have her baby. But God was using even this situation to bring the promised Savior into the world. 